elderly Greeks weren't the only ones unhappy with the austerity measures announced by the government Wednesday, but they may have had the best luck in getting by squads of riot police. They were angry their pensions had been frozen. Other steps the government said it was forced to take included cutting salaries for public sector workers and raising sales taxes. By increasing taxes and cutting spending to come up with around 4.8 billion euros, 2% of the country's entire economy, the Greek government is trying to come to grips with its debts, which are threatening the financial stability of the European Union as a whole. A Greek default would be a massive blow to the euro, the shared European currency. Prime Minister George Papandreou said his hand has been forced. I informed the president of the difficult decisions that we took. Decisions that were not a simple choice but a necessity to be taken, a necessity for the survival of our country and our economy so the country can escape the speculators and the defamation so we can breathe. In Brussels, the EU Commission president backed Papandreou's drastic moves. So did Economic and Monetary Affairs Commissioner Ali Ren. In my view, this is uh, a potential turning point uh, uh, for Greece. Uh, and uh, I can see that uh, there is a very strong determination and uh, unity to reform the country and uh, to put uh, the public finances uh, under control. In Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel hailed the steps she said would strengthen the market's confidence in Greece and in the euro. Merkel was set to meet the Greek prime minister on Friday. On the home front, though, Papandreou was feeling the heat from angry people on the streets. Communist-backed unions were marching Wednesday. And public sector workers were chanting outside the finance ministry. Greek civil servants have scheduled a strike for March 16th. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.